As the Miras Telmet on whether its consumption should be legalized or not continues to gain momentum, especially along the coastal region, the fight against this substance has continued to elicit mixed reactions. The latest to weigh in on the consumption of the substance among the youth is from Muslim ulama of Kenya. I have been condemning Mira. It's been going on for the last 30 years. Regretfully, the graph of consumption is going up and is getting to dangerous levels. And it's no longer only consumption of Mira, it is Mira and the partners of Mira, which is hard substances, which is a lot of them. Okay, so it's a dangerous to our economy, to the society and everybody else. What we have started here today is a collective response and mobilization of the whole society. Addressing the media, the ulama have voiced their concerns and want a toll ban on this substance. The destruction of individuals, families and entire communities. The Muslim ulama of Kenya, guided by the tenets of Islam, and our duty to promote the well-being of the Ummah hereby resolves the following. One, aggressively campaign for the eradication of Mira and the substance abuse across the nation. This campaign will involve direct outreach to communities at the national level and the county level and the below sub-county level at the grassroots level. We will work in partnership with mosques, community leaders, youth groups, civil society to spread awareness and advocate for change. From us is the support in terms of leadership, in terms of uh, government and all that kind of things. But we are in 100% support on the issue of ensuring that this menace is eradicated from the region. It costs lives, it costs uh, um, a lot of economic misfortunes, health, and so forth. And so we are in, on board as leadership, and we are fully in support of the same. To this end, they are claiming that a campaign is in the offing and will include creating public awareness and sensitization to ensure the substance is out of reach for the youths within the society. We are engaging the government, we are engaging the civil society, we are engaging the chiefs and the administration at the ground level. We are only engaging the local leaders and we have got a major strategy which is coming up. This is the beginning of the process. But it's going to be a long term, drawn out, strategized and it's going to move along those lines. Probably, on my right here is uh, the MP for Mandera North. Probably wants to say a few things. Five months ago, the government, through the President William Ruto, reversed the contentious ban imposed in parts of the coastal counties against Mugoka, also known as Mira Okat. President Ruto had reiterated the legality of crop and that the sale should not be prevented. His move was rebutted by governors of the three counties along the coastal region who maintained that the ban on the sale and use of the substance was still on course. Milia Kisenya. K24 TV.